All right, let's take a look at the Article Manager. From the Control Panel, we can click on Article Manager here, or go to Content, Article Manager. By default, articles are listed in section order. If I want to see the articles in ID order, I just click on ID, and you'll notice that now they are listed in descending order. Click again, and they're now listed in ascending order. If I want to see all of the articles by title, I can click on title, and it will toggle between ascending and descending. If I want to search for an article, let's see, I just want to see all the article with the word pages in the title. I just type in the word pages, hit enter or go, and it shows me that article. Click reset and I'm back to where I was. If I want to filter my articles by section or category, I can just click on section, category, and you'll notice that the articles are now filtered. This gets really handy when you start to have more than, say, even 20, 100, 5,000, 10,000 articles in your Joomla website. This becomes really, really helpful. You can also do this by author and by state, whether it's published, unpublished, or archived. Up here at the top, we have some pretty important buttons. And as I've mentioned earlier, all navigating in Joomla is done by icons that appear at the top right. You should never click the back button in your browser, especially in the article. You'll lose what changes you've made, and you will lock that article up. We'll talk more about that later. But for now, archiving and unarchiving articles, publish and unpublishing articles, moving and copying, sending them to the trash, edit, new, and global parameter settings, which we'll talk about in the next session. Bringing all my articles back, there's a number of things I can do here. If I click in the checkbox, I can move this article to a different section or category. If I click on the move, click the section and category I want to move it to, and click Save, it will reassign that article to that new section and category. In Joomla, an article can only belong to one section and category at a time. If I have to have that article in a different area, I can copy it to another section or category, but I really don't recommend you do that. There are other options, which we'll talk about a little bit later. If I want to get rid of an article and delete it, I just click in that checkbox and click Trash, and the article is now sent to Trash. To get it back, I come to Article Trash, click there, and go Restore. Say Yes, OK, and my article is now back where it was. I will say this. Once you delete an article to trash and then empty the trash, that article is gone and there is no way to retrieve it unless you have a backup of your database. Just a couple of other tips about the article manager. Let's say you want to unpublish an article really quickly. You don't have to go into that article. Just click here and when the article has the little red X, it's unpublished. If you click again, it's published. Nice and quick. If you want to change the access level for an article, there are three levels as we already know. Public, click there and it's registered. Click again, and now it's just for administrators. Click again, and now the article is set back to public. Just a quick way of doing some article management. One last thing. Let's say you have a menu item where the order has been set to order. In other words, you want your articles to appear in the order of the number. One way is to just click and move the articles using these little green triangles. The easier way is just to renumber these articles as such and then click the Save button. It reorders the articles and now on my front page if I have a blog that, where the order is set to order my articles will now appear in the order that I just set them at. So that's basically all you need to know about the Article Manager screen. Remember, don't click the back button in your browser. Use the icons here at the top. When I click New, Preview, Save, Apply, Cancel, and Help. Save would save the article and take me back to my article manager. Apply saves the article and leaves me in my article. Cancel cancels any changes since the last time I saved it or applied it and takes me back to the article manager. Help is basically useless. Preview gives me a limited preview of the article which, that I'm working on. And again, I found that to be not very helpful, so I don't tend to use it very often.